Okay. Wow. Look wow. at that. Oh my word, it looks gorgeous. Braised pork belly, uh, steamed bun, crispy pork skin. This is a salt cured apple that's then been roasted again in the in the oven. And then the belly is glazed with a uh, little miso and maltose and soy glaze. And then you've got your knife skills on your julienne of vegetables there. Okay. So you're getting saltiness through the cure on the pork belly. So the apple needs to be kind of, it, it mustn't be too sweet. I would say on the cooking degree, you've got to make sure that that pork goes in the pressure cooker for 45 minutes. The bun's got to be properly steamed so it's nice and light. That bun, it's quite intimidating. It's the most difficult thing for me to make. It's quite a simple dish, but yeah, there's, there's definitely a few places there where things can go wrong. Thanks, Chef. Luke will now leave, but once you've finished, you'll return to blind taste and award that all-important immunity pin. Cheers, eh? See you later. Thanks, eh? Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. And in Supercazi, let's get you to the kitchen. The chef's gonna taste our dish uh, without knowing whose dish it is, so that's quite nervous. <laughs> Supercazi and Ian, you have 90 minutes for this challenge. Good luck, guys. Your time starts now. Because anything in there that you know makes you slightly nervous. It's not easy to get the buns made correctly, make them correctly. So yeah, that makes me quite nervous. There's a lot of ingredients here for this recipe. Do you know most of these ingredients, or are there some things that you're not, you, you've never worked with before? It's only the only thing I've never worked with it. It's this. <laughs> this is maltose. It's a type of sugar that the Chinese especially use. And you know when you get Peking duck when it's got that golden color to it? Yes. It's because of the sweetness. Okay, thank you. You peel the apples, you core them, put it in the roasting dish, put the Chinese wine with some oil, heat it on the stove, then pour it over the apples. Then roast the apples in the oven for 25 minutes. The pressure point with the pork is making sure that you've got enough liquid in the in the, the pressure cooker. I'm concerned a little bit that is this going to be right or not. Put all the ingredients in the pressure cooker, then I put the already charred pork belly in the pressure cooker, then put it in the stove. What happened? Oh, you went all the way. Yeah, I've got another one. So start again. Start over? Yep. I'd already, you know, peeled the whole apple and my core went all the way through and took out the stalk. So it's a very obvious part of the presentation. I've got another one. So start again. Start over? Yep. I need to start again. So I'm throwing a little bit. Um, and I've cut my finger, so I'm losing a bit of time, but I just need to settle down, focus. Put my buns in the steamer. My pressure cooker has been on for 45 minutes. So I take it off the stove, starting to open it. When I'm opening, I could smell something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Bent pork. But then, we'll have to make another plan. Must I cut it? Yeah, just cut it off. Slowly, 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 slowly. Thirty minutes remaining. Super guys, if you really need to get that cooling down, that's enough. And I start working on 
uh, getting the pork into cool down. So there's a very clever process of cooling it down and weighing it down and keeping it nice and flat. The reason why I need to keep it cool and pressed together is that it will retain its shape and it'll keep it nice and compressed. I'm taking my pork cracking and the oil, then it started to puff up. This is exactly what I need. Ten minutes to go, guys. Come on. So, from a dough perspective, the measurements are always quite important. I'm not convinced that it's absolutely perfect, but I seem to have been kneading for about seven to ten minutes. Only five minutes to go. Take my pork out, cut it into tubes, then glaze it. Get it on the plate, Tipukazi. Less than two minutes left. That last five minutes just seemed to come up at us from nowhere. Time for me to have a look at my buns. I'm happy to present the one, um, but I can see it's not perfect still. I've probably got another time to, to put another one in, so I break another one off, shape it. Probably better than I shaped the other four, and I place it back. Come on, guys, 30 seconds to go. What else needs to go on there? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Chef <laughs> Kazi, oh. Ian. Chef Luke holds his team to a very high standard. It's now time to see if you came close to meeting those standards. Chef Luke. I think it's time to taste. Let's start with plate number one. What do you think of the plating, first of all? It looks good. It looks pretty much exactly like the one we showed them earlier on. Mm. Crunchy crackling. Sounded good. Good. <laughs> It's got the right level of salt in it. The hulver's bringing a little bit of sweetness. Apple's good. Nice, slight saltiness to it. The bun is cooked through. It's not too doughy. The person that cooked this has definitely got intuition and knows what something should be like. OK. Time for plate two. Cool. Let's give it a try. Thanks. OK, that looks good. It's cooked through, it's not doughy in the middle. Let's see if the pork's cooked first. This is good. It's got enough glaze on it. I'm picking up a bit of the barbecue flavour on there, which is nice as well. Apples cooked perfectly. Jeez, it's quite tight, eh? They're both good. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. There's a little bit more glaze on this plate. So I'd say that's a point of difference. Um, it's going to be a difficult one, eh? It is, it is. We're going back for the verdict. I want this immunity pin. Have I done enough to ensure that I get the immunity pin? I'm honestly not sure. Sipukazi and Ian, both of you guys did a great job today. You know, they made me extremely proud just to see you know, how they went about following that recipe. And you could see that they took it very seriously. But unfortunately, you have to make a decision. Yeah. So what's it going to be? Um, it was super difficult, but ultimately um, my decision for the winner is number two. Play two belongs to Ian. Well done, Ian. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Chef. Cheers. Congratulations. Thanks well very done. much. I'm going to pin this on you now. Thank you. Yeah, I briefly closed my eyes and said a little thank you.